this is Heidi with Philippine Antics, and today I am going to react to the Filipina P in regards to the P strikes back. And I want to let you guys know that I fully support the P in the Passport Brother movement. I feel that everybody deserves an opportunity to start a new life, to travel, to have fun, and seek love and fun wherever they actually go. So today, as anticipated by a lot of people, I am going to react to the statements that she has said. Who knows? Hi folks, the Philippine P here. And several months ago, I did a video about the way some Western women were attacking and insulting men who realized the relationship game in their home countries had become totally unwinnable. For several months now, the accusations and insults have been flying fast and furious back and forth across the Pacific, with other Filipinas getting into the action in social media. It's one thing to attack your own men, the ones who've chosen to leave. Of course you have the right to your opinions, just as I have the right to respond with my own. But when you go insulting us Filipinas, then your accusations warrant a response. And here's my response. Let's dive right in. First, let's deal with your claim that we Filipinas are somehow lacking in language skills. Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, like women can, that can speak very little English. I just One question, when was the last time you went to the Philippines? Or have you been to the Philippines? Have you also spoken to actual people from the Philippines in terms of speaking the English language? You gotta really check on what is current. I don't know where you're getting your statistics. And you say we're not very good with reading, writing, and arithmetic neither. Women that don't have They're education. Not... Uh, excuse me? For your information, we have stricter education and school system than the United States. So actually, Filipinos are multilingual. English is our second language. It's not foreign women's fault if American men fall for them instead of you. You must understand, like us Filipino, we are naturally sweet. We are naturally like that. So when you say those things about us Filipinas, how do you think that makes us feel? Don't tell us that we are uneducated. I've been able to take care of my family. I became a breadwinner at the same time, a homemaker. But I am as educated as you are. I graduated cum laude and I am a teacher. And so it hurt me a lot when you're saying that people in Asia are uneducated. They are submissive. In fact, I am as empowered as you are. You tell them, sister. These women are absolutely right. Filipinas, male or female, are the most sweetest people in the world. And as far as their education, my husband has more education than I do. Okay? So those that go around putting down Filipinas that they're being controlled or that that men just run over here because that's the quality they're getting and they're uneducated and they can hardly speak English. I've heard it as far as people referring to them as slaves. Slavery has long been abolished. These women and men here in the Philippines, per my observance during the last two years, is an absolute, you can't even begin to talk about the quality difference between Filipinos, Filipino men, and how the West is. So I agree 100% with the Filipina P on this and the women that have spoken. I just don't get the hate. Um, you know, the Passport Brothers have been around for years, uh, probably long since the 70s. Um, all colors, all races have traveled all over the world to come to different foreign countries, to learn a different culture, to be immersed in this culture. And bravo to the Passport Brothers that are getting out of the country, getting to see the world and finding love. Some of them are even getting married. Now we get to the videos that managed to attack the Passport Bros while insulting us Filipinas too. Go find a wife in the Philippines or Thailand or Eastern Europe or wherever these places are that are overseas. I'm assuming you mean they're more biddable, that they're less outspoken, they don't demand anything of you, that they're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity, and in return, all they have to do is subject themselves to your advances. I do wonder at your motivation for why you want to go overseas to find a partner. Is it because you prefer your woman without opinions, unable to fight back, and vulnerable? All right, they're just angry. Like I said, they're just bitter, they're just angry, and as I said earlier, um, this Western woman is not alone. This anger is from a small portion of Western women. And I've been saying for months since I've been listening to all these videos that I'm not with these women. But we've heard just about everything from all over the world also. But this hate has to go. Passport Brothers win. 
Filipina P wins on this. It's 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 not a new um, conception and exception. They've been doing this for years. And I kind of wonder when all this movement came out again. It's just got a new name. Um, and the game is still the same. It's still the same. It's always been here, guys. I one of those overseas women who doesn't have an opinion in my little head. And I'll put up with your advances if only you'll rescue me from my life of poverty. Please, sir, I want some more. Passport pros are people who specifically go from country to country to country trying to find women exotic flavors uh, to, to dabble in, right? Passport bros are like, oh man, uh, I can't find any good women in the States, uh, so I'm going to have to go somewhere else in the world. Like women are inherently different in every other country. It really starts becoming weird when you go to third world countries or countries that are not as advanced as ours. And a lot of these women are desperate, so they're, they're going to take you up on that offer, right? They want someone who is going to be submissive to them. And what better way to find someone who's submissive to them uh, than to find a woman who is at your beck and call? Because, you know, the only reason she's in the United States is because of you. Sounds to me like a lot of control issue. Right. Uh, and to be honest, ladies, these aren't t the type of men that we want anyway. Right. Uh, these men want a woman that they can control. And because they can't they can't find it here in America because uh, it's frowned upon to like own a human here. They go to other places in the world where they can legally own a human. Right now, I'm absolutely shocked at the things that these women are saying. Obviously, these are bitter Western women, the same as Filipinas and Filipinos they are not the actual exception and they are not the standard. As a matter of fact, did you see the previous one with an actual face filter on? She's not real. She has fake nails and wears filters and aren't even real. At least Filipinos are real people. To me, they're most, the most hospitable people in the world. I, I'm just taken back and embarrassed on the type of women that are coming forward like this to put down guys that are trying to lift themselves up this is beyond shameful, and these women are just bitter because they can't do any better. They're trying to pull them down, and I'm not with that. The Filipina P, what she says once again, Filipina P wins. I'd heard it all, but I just found out that the Philippines has legalized slavery. I wonder how much I could get if I put on a little makeup. And once again, Filipinas are depicted as desperate, submissive, and at a man's beck and call. Do you have any clue how insulting that is? But at least you consider us adults, unlike these next women. Clearly, underage girls. Do y'all realize when y'all comment, make comments on videos like how women are just jealous when it, when we're talking about minors, meaning children, that y'all are basically telling the world what you, you you've done or want to do. Mostly, you, I'm pretty sure a lot of you did. This is why I, I tell everybody: a man will. Uh, do what he do to your 13 year old or a 13 year old if you know he can get away with it. Why would you think a woman would be jealous of a child? A passport bro is somehow a pedophile who's just looking to do what he do with a 13 year old. Well, I don't know why you think we're underage, but we can't exactly help the fact that we look a lot younger than you think we should. Okay, it's bad enough that you call the passport bros creepy, annoying, and strange. But the fact that you aren't even bothered if they pursue children says a lot about your priorities. And thanks for implying that men can just come over here and hang around with children. You may not know this, but the Philippines takes that kind of thing very seriously. If a man is even seen with an underage child, he's immediately reported and investigated. Oh, wait a sec. I forgot. We're too uneducated and submissive to say anything about it. All right, I want to react to this one. Most definitely the Philippines upholds this underage situation. We all knew there was a situation last year where a gentleman was messing with underage girls and the Philippines eventually did catch him. He's now in jail. Now, as far as saying that these men are traveling just to come over here and find young women or insinuating that because they're dating a younger woman that they're looking for children's situation, that's not true, okay? Um, people love who they love. Um, these women are vibrant. They're they're young. They're full of spirit. They make these men feel younger. And once again, the Filipina actually, Filipina P scores on this one. She's absolutely right. So um, I wish everybody the best that comes over here and tries to find love. But what about the claim that it's all about money? 
I literally have all the money in the world but cannot find a man. I've been in that struggle. And I've thought to myself, should I go to another country to find a man? Should I go to a different place? Is it just New York City? Should I go to a different part of the country? Like, where can I find this man for me? What is very different about me though, and in my situation that distinguishes me from a passport bro, is that A, I have a lot of money. So I'm not going to Thailand to prey on young boys who have no money. I'm not saying, oh, let me go to some under, like some developing country, somebody who's not privileged and prey upon their young boys. Like I'm not doing that. Okay, lady, it's great that you have more money than God and your biggest struggle is choosing which high-end resort to meet men at. But stop for just a second and listen to what else you just said. Women in your country don't respect men that aren't doing well. So what's a man supposed to do when he's not dripping $100 bills from every orifice in his body? In this situation that this woman is talking about money and the P's reaction, I'm going to react a little bit on this. Um, I came to the Philippines because the United States was getting extremely expensive. Um, when I met George, he was the one with the actual money and the business and everything. Um, Coming to the Philippines is a choice. The same with these men, it is a choice. Or the women that come here. Um, they don't have to go to expensive places, you know, to look for women. They're going to go where it's comfortable and expensive. Let's see what else she's got. And of course, it somehow involves the dreaded patriarchy. But even when all your arguments have been thoroughly destroyed, you've still got your favorite go-to tactic, anger. You. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. I don't know what to tell you. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your dick out, go for it. Triggered immediately. Well, F you then. Just go overseas. We don't need you. Whatever. Bye, loser. Do you see the anger? Do you see that? It's highly insulting when people claim that we Filipinas are uneducated, don't speak well, are desperate, and just a slave to a Western man's money. Is it true that we see passport bros as an upgrade to our situation? Of course we do. But so what? Isn't that the same thing you look for in a man? To find someone that makes more money than you do? So why are you bashing us for doing the same thing? Seems a little hypocritical to me. Up on what the P said, once again, she's absolutely right. Again, in the past, guys, I have watched the Filipina P stuff, and I like, ah, and we hear a bunch of different things from, you know, different expats out and about, um, and different opinions that the P doesn't know what she's talking about, and she's just feeding things. You know, she's just feeding meat to the lions. And I've heard a lot of things, and I totally disagree. I feel that the Filipina bee is a highly educated, intelligent woman that knows what she's talking about, and she's right. You know, these these same qualities that they're talking about Filipinas, you know, actually they're just within these women. A lot of bitterness, a lot of hate. Um, the passport brothers and guys that travel here to marry are looking for traditional wives. It's absolutely true. I come from a background in Ohio where there's lots of traditions deep through um, the German and French roots that I actually have. And, you know, everybody wants to be married. Everybody wants love. Everybody wants happiness. Everybody wants security. And there is nothing wrong with that. I encourage the Passport Brothers and any man or woman that wants to travel here to actually come here. Do not hesitate. Do not hesitate to think about your retirement in these different Asian countries. Um, the Philippines has beautiful places to go. Um, I'm thinking about the how inexpensive it is. Now, there has been some inflation, so this is actually changing. But still, for the price basically of your rent in the United States, you can actually live here and have extra. Um, men are coming here to restart their lives. Women are coming here to restart their lives. They're coming here to retire. But I appreciate P doing this video, and I just wanted to give a reaction as a Western woman that has lived in the Philippines for the last two years in one of the harder places to live, which is the Angeles City area, because there's a lot of bad shade thrown to this area too, but Pampanga is a beautiful place. So don't hesitate to visit guys. So check out the Filipina Peace channel, check out all of her videos and be sure to show her some love. Um, God bless everybody. God bless the P. God bless everybody that has joined us today. Thank you, and be sure to subscribe and watch your other videos, guys. And until next time, keep your heads up and your hearts open. And it's always sunny in the Philippines. And see you guys soon. God bless everybody. Bye.